What's up guys, it's Dangerous Daily, and wow, are these predictions terrible. So, the AL projected 2021 standings via Baseball Prospectus, I think it said Baseball Prospectus, and then somewhere else it said Baseball Pro, and then somewhere else said Pakoda, so I'm not exactly sure who these from, but whoever made these, what on earth are these? First off, um, let's talk about the... AL Central. So, the White Sox, who are a potential World Series contender, are going to win 83 games and be at third in the AL Central when a team like India, the Indians, instead of getting better, actually got worse. And the White Sox got better, not worse. They got Lance Lynn, they got Liam Hendricks, and they have young stars who con- uh, continue to develop. The Indians lost Lindor and Carrasco and might even trade Jose Ramirez. So, I only, the AL Central is a spot between the White Sox and the t- Twins. N- the Indians are not in that anymore. Especially after all the trades and the, they haven't even got anyone. The Astros, they have the Astros winning the AL West. But the A's have lost Liam Hendricks and, uh, Liam Hendricks and Marcus Simeon. But the Angels haven't even got any pitching, so the AL West is going to be weird. The Mariners have a chance to jump up and get like a top two, top three spot if Kyle Lewis and them are really good again. You know, the Texas Rangers are going to be pretty bad. Same thing with the Tigers, the Orioles, the Red Sox, and the Royals. The Red Sox are kind of interestingly weird, like they got some nice guys. Let's talk about the AL East. They got the Blue Jays finishing worse than the Rays by one game, which... I'm not too mad about, I see it's a possibility, but I personally think the Blue Jays and the Yankees are the top two teams in the division. If we just get one more starter, I think the Rays don't exactly have a chance, but, you know, they're the Rays. They find a way, I think, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is just bad. The White Sox below the Indians, and they should be, or they should be higher than the Twins, if not around them. And I don't think the Astros win so that many games, especially being not great in 2020. Like, the Astros winning more games than the White Sox, the Twins, and the Yankees. Uh, I mean, no, the Yankees won. Yankees and the White Sox are my top two teams in the AL. Potentially a Blue Jays, a Twins, and yeah. And then one team from the AL West makes up my top five. Alright, now let's go to the NL and review what worst stuff is on here. Alright, here we are with the NL. So, it got the Rockies doing bad. Acceptable, acceptable. I know the Marlins made the playoff, but I feel like this team is not that great. But I don't feel that... I don't think the Marlins are as bad as, like, the Orioles, Tigers, and Rangers. If anything, the Marlins could get around 75, 80, at least wins. So the Marlins are not that bad, but then again, they're going up against these teams. But what are you doing putting a team that was one game away from the World Series at an 82 and 80 record in fourth in the NL East? What? What is this? If anything, they should be in the top two spots in this division. If the Mets win, the Braves will be second. But the Nationals and Phillies have made some decent acquisitions. But the Braves should be at the top of the NL East. NL Central. How are the Cubs 85 and 77? The Cubs literally lost Schwarber, Darvish, Caratini, um, oh yeah, Lester, uh, Quintana. So many arms, their team isn't even that great. They've made a move to just get Jock Peterson and Mariznick. And Zach Davies in the Darvish. Right? So how are they eighty five how are they an eighty five win team? The Blue Jays are an eighty five win team. And I'm not even being biased as a Blue Jays fan. The Blue Jays and the Cubs do not match up anywhere, talent wise. And I just found out today the Cubs are almost about to non tender Chris Bryant, which is just extremely dumb. They should have tra- they should trade him or keep him. Um other stuff, the Cardinals just got Nolan Arenado 
didn't give up too much. No, didn't give, even give up much. And they also got cash. Shouldn't they be at the top of the NL Central? Then the Brewers and the Cubs are on the same spot. But what are you doing with the Cardinals worse than the Brewers and the Cubs? The Cardinals have the same record as the White Sox pretty much by one game. Around the same record as the d back and the Reds. What is this trash? Admittedly, they have got the NL West right, but I think the Giants are better. I think the Giants could get hit 80 wins because they've got Anthony Discofnio. Um, sorry for the mispronunciation. They got Alex Wood. They've got some decent players this offseason. So, yeah. But overall, this is straight trash. Baseball perspectives, baseball pro, Pocota, whoever released this. What were you doing? But that's about it for this video. Just reacting to this absolute garbage. Um, whenever the full top hundred players comes out, you know I'm gonna be reacting to that stuff. Um, whenever that comes out, I think they'll be finishing in about like a couple, four to five days. Um, so yeah. Um, also starting this weekend, we will start posting a. 2021 preview and season outlook for every single team. So we're uploading straight for one month. One video a day for one team. And watch out for when your team's going to come. And we'll upload every single day. So turn those notifications on and keep out an uh, eye for when your team is on. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Ninja Daily. Have a great day. Um... Tell me what you guys think about this list. Do you agree? Disagree? Who else do you think they said good things about, bad things about? Uh, if you want to take one last look, here it is. And...